This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Of all of the digital pedals out there that have the kind of finest reputation in the world, I think the Strymon Flint might be the thing that I've never really heard anyone say a bad word about. Um, you'll see it on John Mayer's pedal board, and obviously John Mayer's a chap who has dumbbells, who has, you know, vintage pedals coming out of his, well, every orifice, and could afford to use pretty much anything. And I think, what is it, the Bricasti reverbs that he may use in the studio if it's good enough for John Mayer potentially you know this is something that I should know about so I borrowed this off of Jake I've never tried one I'm just plugging directly into the flint right now so that I can get some sense of how this thing sounds so that's our direct tone now the tremolo side we've got the 63 harmonic trem Lovely and musical. Then on this other side here at the moment, Jake uses the 70s plate most often. I believe the 60s is a spring, 80s is a hall. Let's just listen to this. And then together you get this kind of thing.
fairly short decay on that let's just turn that up and see where we can get if we have some really long plate tones <laughs> has trails as well so I think that's to me an incredible sounding uh, plate I guess we could turn the brightness up but clearly can do some really nice ambient sounds as well as the more kind of natural let's take a listen to the spring the longest kind of decay kind of bit of metallicness to that do the drip thing as well. If I turn that decay up, does that drip increase? No, it kind of changes the character of the spring as well with the decay. I get really long with it. Seems like you get some kind of drippier settings with the decay lower. And then as decay it kind of just gets a 
Okay, and then the 80s should be this hall reverb. Just what a beautiful set of sound. more of a room Just a, an all-round beautiful pedal, I think. I mean, it doesn't seem to me that it has a bad sound in this pedal. It seems to me like it's been quite carefully... doesn't really get into that kind of metallic thing where some kind of uh, 
reverbs when you get the decay up really high um, and you set the brightness up kind of high you get these kind of metallic sounds this to me it doesn't seem like it's got a bad sound in the pedal uh, really quite a, a really good sounding pedal I think um, I can totally see why John Mayer is a fan. Um, let me know your thoughts on the Strymon Flint. Have you got one? Have you had one? Have you sold one? Did you find something that could do the job of this? Anything that could replace it? Um, I might try and do some sort of matching with a Helix at some point, uh, if that's of any interest. Um, to me, I think it, it seems to me like this is just a, a good set of sounds that probably work well for a, a whole bunch of guitarists. Uh, a pedal that could sit nicely on pretty much anyone's board. Um, you know, unfussy, but great sounding pedal, I think. I'll uh, catch you in another video soon. It's the Strymon Flint. I'm kind of blown away. Cheers.